Hey everybody and welcome to The Biz on windowcleaningresource.com. My name is Josh and today we're talking about apparel. Um, dress codes, apparel, kind of all go hand in hand. Okay, We have a dress code where um, all of our employees have to wear a certain shirt and then the pants, if they're wearing jeans, have to be a certain way and if they're going to wear shorts, they have to be a certain kind of short. Um, also shoes, jewelry, uh, tattoos, um, these are all things that we kind of talk about. And uh, that's all because you want to be the most professional you can be out there. And you want to build a kind of a uniform, a uniformed kind of group of people when they get to somebody's house. Okay. Um, what we do with our vehicles is they're all white, black lettering. They're all the same. It's the same thing with what we do with our apparel. Everybody wears the same everything. Um, if it's just a screen printed shirt that you're getting, do it because they're super cheap and it makes you look that much better than the guy that shows up with a garbage bag full of supplies and the bucket and all the Home Depot or Menards stuff and just cleans windows for a quick buck or for whatever. So that's why we do it. But we provide clothes to our guys. Uh, we buy twice a year. We get our clothes, spend a couple hundred bucks. Um, it's not bad. But I know that the guys are all going to look the same. They're all going to be presenting an image out there. And uh, it actually does get us some work, too, because uh, everybody gets to see who we are, not just our trucks, but our clothing and the way the guys present themselves. So um, right now I have a guy. Uh, he's a younger guy. He is um, not on his free time, doesn't dress the way that I would prefer him to dress. But when he comes to work, he does have to dress differently. But what he was wearing were baggier pants with like, you know, sewn in crosses on the um, back pockets. Uh, basically told him that wasn't going to fly. He would wear um, um, a big cross with like a diamond in the middle on the front. And it wasn't for a religious reason. And if it was, put it in your shirt. No one can see it. There was just some things. We've had some issues, um, you know, trying to get this guy over. But he's a younger guy. Um and uh, he's aware of the dress code but he kind of pushes the envelope but I just think that puts off the wrong image when a guy shows up with you know baggy pants you know some kicks that aren't tied and and uh, you know jewelry and that's just flashy and, and it just doesn't look right so basically what we do is if you've seen me wear anything blue that's sneaking out this is our shirts that we have for work and uh, Unfortunately, I'm not wearing any uh, window cleaning resource shirts, but um, it's been super busy, so uh, I usually do the filming right after work. But anyway, that's our color, is the service blue, okay? Um, when we do t-shirts, uh, this is our t-shirt. It's just a blue t-shirt. This is the front of it, and our logo is on the back of it, because when you're doing windows, or when your guys are doing windows or however your business is set up, you're looking at the glass and you want the people behind you to see who you are. Okay? Um, so put it out there and put it big. I mean, this is our shirt. Is It's relatively large. They're going to know what it is and they're going to put two and two together. Even if they see your truck, they recognize your logos, all that fun stuff. They're going to know what it is. This shirt here is a Gildan shirt. Um, they're screen printed. It's a one-time fee for the screen. These shirts cost us five dollars and seventy-five cents to have, right? Printed, sent to us in any size, five dollars and seventy-five whopping cents. We get our guys, uh, our full-time guys get uh, six shirts. Uh, we normally work five days a week, but you know there's always that crossover. We want to make sure they always have a clean shirt. So thirty bucks in shirts, a little over that, not too bad. We have another step up of shirt and the ones that I wear um, and our salesmen wear are uh, polos like this and they just have our little logo and this is embroidered on here and it's just on a polo. Nice short sleeve polo. Um, they're really nice. Uh, these ones are uh, Port Authorities I believe. Yeah. And uh, they just turn, really, turn out really nice. They kind of uh, have a different feel to them. They're kind of a step up. Salesmen wear them. Um, I wear them only for the fact that uh, the t-shirts, you know, 
I just don't like the t-shirts personally, so I like wearing the polos. If the guys wanted a polo, they could really use one, but the polos are a lot more expensive. Like I said, $5.75 for a t-shirt. These polos range up to a $16 a piece, which still isn't that bad because it's embroidered. Um, they turn out super nice, but um, I don't want to give them out to guys who are going to go and you know slop all over them. Even if it's not on purpose, the guys, they'll get, they'll get dirty, cleaning tracks, you're cleaning bird poop, you're, you're running, walking around in bushes and whatever else. So they don't get uh, the polos as much. But for a salesman, he wears nice, nice uh, like dress, dressy kind of pants, nice shoes, wears one of these polos, tucks it in. Uh, we actually did a couple little tests uh, on what people liked. And uh, he wore a regular shirt, just a nice dressy shirt. And uh, people kind of were a little bit more confronted by him. You know, hey, I don't know who you are. I don't know where you're with. Uh, when he put on a shirt like this with this little logo that's on here, people kind of knew who he was. And it seemed to kind of get a better vibe because he looked a little bit not so scary, you know, because he wasn't so perfect, I guess. I don't know. But it seemed to work that way, so that's why he switched over to that. But um, as far as clothes go, for our guys out there, uh, we're in Wisconsin. It gets pretty cold. So uh, we have our winter hats. Uh, you'll never guess, but the blue. And uh, uh, the hats we have now are blue with like a white stripe beanies. Uh, the hats that we had before um, were uh, kind of a fade into like uh, blue and white. But either way, they're also embroidered. The same thing. We only pay one time to set this up, and then it's like a buck and a half or something to embroider it on anything. I even got my daughter a onesie with it on there. My other daughter has a t-shirt with the screen on there. It's kind of fun. But uh, the other thing, other than the hats, are our USI uh, hoodies. Okay, These are super nice for the winter because the guys get exercises a little bit bigger so they can put a couple extra layers in there. And then they're still in uniform. We haven't gotten jackets, which sounds really stupid, but... Um, We've kind of had powwows and things and, and talked about uh, what would be best to have, Carhartt jackets or what. And we just couldn't come to an agreement on what we kind of thought were, were good. And uh, uh, one of our guys doesn't wear jackets. He only likes hoodies on the outside. So they layer up with some long underwear in the winter and they're out and they're in the hoodies. But um, either way, if somebody said they wanted to start wearing jackets, we'd get them jackets only because you want everybody to be the same, uh, like I said. So... Um, the jackets that we do have um, are just blue, um, and they have the white screen printing on them. I don't have any of those with me because today was like 90 degrees here and uh, sweat my butt off. Anyway, um, but that's the thing, okay? Whatever you're going to get, if you're going to get a color, even if it's not your color, we went with blue. I personally like blue. If somebody wears all red clothes or has all red vehicles, guess what? They probably like red, and that's why they went with that. But blue um, is also a service color for what you would think of like, you know, a royal blue. It's kind of servicey. That's kind of another way that we went off there. And uh, if you, anybody has ever talked to me about our personal business in our area, there's a lot of personal people. John's window cleaning, Chuck's window cleaning, Billy's window cleaning, you know, whatever it is. But uh, um, we kind of wanted to set ourselves apart from that. There's nothing wrong with that if they're using your name, but we wanted to set ourselves out. So that's why we wear the service colors and uh, everything matches. The other guys around town that I know know of don't wear um, uniforms. So it really sets us out. Um, in the summertime, which it is right now, we have cargo khaki shorts. That's all we wear. No jean shorts, no flip-flops, obviously, no slip-on shoes. Um, you know, it's your business. Do what you want to do. What you think looks the most professional is going to be what others think is the most professional. And uh, like I said, have at it. Make your business the way it is. Um, with clothes, the pricing is really, really pretty feasible. So check it out. Um, if anybody wants to know uh, my company I go through, it's local here in Racine, Wisconsin. But uh, shoot me an email or post it and I will uh, give you the information. Good deal. Uh, my name is Josh for uh, The Biz on windowcleaningresource.com. Have a great day.